All right, guys, thought I'd do another another video. I haven't done one for a few days, and I did say I'll do more because there's been a few people asking about me doing a more regular because uh, I find them useful for my positivity point of view. Um, but one of the things I wanted to talk about today is about not repeating the same mistakes um, or getting into the same ruts. Um, that you may have done before. Um, it's funny, I was, I was literally just talking to someone else, this, this sort of prompted it, about a job role. Um, because he currently works as a project manager. Um, he's changed companies and he's still a project manager. And I, was, and I said to him, well, do you want, actually want to be a project manager? I says, because you're gonna keep repeating the same issue in the sense of you're selling yourself short. You got all the qualifications. You got all the um, the knowledge and experience to actually move to um, a higher level role. Because um, it's not just the project management qualifications. He's got. He's got his. Uh, um, I think he's got the Institute of Leadership Management. Or oh, he's got management and construction. Um, but the point being is, he's sort of gearing gearing up to move up to a senior project manager and then into like well a, a head of project management and then into um, possibly a director role but you've got to understand is don't keep selling yourself short because you're just going to keep yourself at the same level unless you, your next focus is actually to move to the next role um, or the next objective so we often get into a comfort zone of where we are currently when we should actually be thinking is where do we want to be um, and this is where we're sort of talking today because moving companies is not fixed the issue which is he actually wants to move up in a business and say well are you, are you applying for the right jobs I said you've got all the uh, the right background the experience and whatever it says you, you should be focusing on moving up um, to, to head of projects and then from head of projects get yourself some experience on other bits of the business where, wherever you move um, so you can then move to director at a later date um, and then he, yeah this sort of it was that eureka thing to, <laughs> where he sort of realized and his, his, uh, his uh, wife mentioned it to him he says well I've been saying this to you for ages but Matt's just repeated basically what I've been saying already and yet it's like the the, you know, it's like the uh, the pennies dropped. Um, but it's not just about jobs, because you find in relationships people will keep making the same mistakes. Um, you you go out with people that may not be you, your ideal partner, or in many cases, people are attracted of similar types, and you may actually be. Um, attracted to the wrong person because they're too similar to the way you think in now um, which is <laughs> which is just as bad or worse um, depending depend on your personality but but the point being is you you often attracted to somebody who's similar yeah you know, this is why you go oh yeah we have the same hobbies we have that but you may find that your personalities may be up an issue um, ask Johnny Depp um, so it's important that you turn around and assess things when you're moving out of something that's been long term or whatever to see if you're going to go into something um, in the future or a, you know, you're looking at something, whether it's a relationship, a job, uh, whether you want to go and be a consultant rather than working direct. Is this what you actually want to do and is it going to reach the objectives that you want or are you doing it because it's comfortable? Because um, a lot of the time, a lot of people do things that they're comfortable with, but this is why you find people stay in the same job for 25, 30 years, if, if, if you can find a job that you last that long in these days, because the companies don't last that long. Um, but you often get stuck in these positions which are comfortable, they're like slippers. You know, you may find that they're old, they're stinky, you, st you still keep using them every day because you, you, as soon as you put your feet in them, you're like, oh, I'm comfortable, I'm home, I can relax, type thing. But in reality, you should actually be looking at um, something a, a bit more 
um, beneficial, you know, putting you putting yourself out there a bit more, putting a bit of effort in to actually get out of your comfort zone, because it's the only way you sort of progress most of the time. You know, do you want to be the guy that got the, got the gold watch for doing your entire work career at one place? I definitely didn't, and definitely won't. Um, my focus. I mean, I don't, I don't know if it's to bring my stuff up, but it's just to sort of align that the fact that I think about this stuff myself as well. I mean, I just moved from uh, the company I'm with, or was with, um, to a role that's a, a higher level. And it's more varied, there's more uh, scope to develop in it. Um, I'm actually developing, you know, developing the business. It's a lot more... Um, where I want to be but long term you know the objective is to actually be out of work from Spain and doing stuff I like doing and not worry about doing stuff for money which obviously the mortgage is the big thing and I am doing something I enjoy doing but ultimately my focus is get the house finished get that done and then go right where's my long term objective is it to become a consultant work part of the year and travel the rest is that something I want to do long term? And then once you start setting these objectives and directions, because it's not just goals, it's directions, they start to happen because you're focused on making it happen. So like my friend, I've told him, stop applying for project management roles, apply for head of projects, apply for maybe even director role level and just see if you even get an interview. Because it may be a case you, you hit a company in the right space and you will get the role but if you don't don't go in with the confidence in the first place you'll never get it because a lot of this stuff out there is about confidence you know I think it was um, oh, what's his name Richard Branson was on about never say no to anything or say yes and you can work the rest out I can't remember the actual phrase but it was that way the reason I remember it is because I hate that <laughs> Because I used to deal with that with um, guys when I was out in the Middle East, and the problem I have, in, well, Middle East and Asia, because the problem is they'll say yes to things they shouldn't do. Um, you know, that could actually be fatal in some cases when they should actually be going, really don't know what you're talking about. But instead of going, yeah, are you sure you know what you're doing? Yeah. And you're like, right, repeat back what I just said to you. And they can't. It's like, you didn't know what I said, did you? It's like, no. And it's like, okay, we'll go over it again. And we'll go over it until you actually understand it because there's a chance you could kill yourself or somebody else. So you've got to be, like I said, you've got to be careful. Um, well, sorry, they have to be careful, but they're going off on a tangent now. Um, but, but the point being is you need to recognize that you need to head off in a direction. And you're not always going to have an answer. You know, it's a bit like when kids leave school. What job do they want? Most of the time they won't know till they're in their 30s if they're lucky. Um, you know, you might get someone go, I want to join the army because I want to travel. But it, it, army's not for travel, especially this day and age. We keep getting involved in conflict. Um, that's, that's, that's the sales poster stuff. <laughs> um, you get to travel, but often the places you don't want to be. Um, but the point being is you've got to set outline where you want to be then sort of head towards it and it don't have to be a hundred percent because the problem you've got with something a hundred percent is you're never going to reach it because you're going to change as you move forward you know it's a bit like where people you know they've got about me with the philippines you know because I, I went to the philippines in my 30s it wasn't even on my radar, I just sort of randomly ended, ended up there due to a um, conversation and um, uh, through a uh, Van Gogh. Um, but the point being is that wasn't on my radar, but once I had met April and whatever, my whole life aligned in a different direction because up until that point, because I'm an ex-forces ex child, um, I spent my childhood overseas. I'd lived in Germany, been to Hong Kong, been to um, many parts of the world. But when I come to the UK after my dad's retirement, his sort of focus was just like plodding along, where I'm still in the army mode of actually wanting to travel. So, so the point being is, 
when um, I met April, moved out to the Philippines, we set things up there, got it, you know, got set up with a family, got focused in a um, different direction to fund the life of the, you know, sustainable life in the Philippines. Then the kids got a bit older, wanted to educate the kids, we brought them to Spain. Um, and then the, it develops and like now the kids are getting to that, those sort of age groups where they're not they're not so reliant on the parents pa you know me and april are thinking well we haven't traveled much won't belong to the kids who are off to university or whatever well, i mean i know it's a few years off yet but it, but the point is they're not it's not focused about the kids as much now because the kids don't want to do the stuff that you wanted to do with the kids they'd rather spend time with their friends so you think, yeah, I go to Disney World, and we're like, we're a bit old for Disney World. We want to, want to go go karting or something else, or you know, it's like my daughter Nicole, she, she likes, you know, go going out with her friends and stuff. It's not, it's not about me or her because the the age group is where teens want to go party. So you, your your whole goal and direction constantly evolves but that's the point is you'll never get to 100 percent because it keeps changing the key to it is, is actually recognizing that it is not going to be fixed in stone the key to it is actually starting to do something about it um, start heading in a direction because currently you're probably not you're probably still thinking about it which means you you're cast adrift um, you need to get a photo. That's why you find people that sort of push kids or teenagers into, um, well, not kids, teenagers and um, young adults into careers that they may not even want because the, the teenager or whatever don't actually know what they want to do yet because they haven't figured it out. So they, they'll go, well, your dad's an engineer, so you can be an engineer. Um, and you sort of end up in that route. It's years later, you start thinking, I actually like doing accounting. Or, well, I don't know anybody actually says it like accounting, but um, you start going channel into what you want to achieve or get into the goal that you want. So for me, a lot of the stuff I do is Excel based and data based and accounting because a lot of it is then remote, which means like you know I can work from Spain. I can work part of the year. I don't you know. It, it pays well at the same time you're not locked in to uh, being stuck in one place sometimes it is very boring and tedious but at the same time i realized a long time ago it's the boring and tedious stuff people don't like doing it normally pays quite well because nobody wants to do it um so I, I moved down that route initially but now i'm getting to that point where i want to do a bit more so it's like with the drones i'm going to start looking to get on a drone course in the very near future um and i want to start doing stuff with 3d modeling in um, um more down the the bim stuff which i keep going to it but the problem is i've had time it's getting the time to do it with so much been going on lately but the point is that's the direction i want to be in and it's not financial it's out of interest because the finance is there anyway the money's already in those, those industries anyway the, the, the point is it's actually doing something i enjoy doing this becoming the important bit which also gives me the freedom to travel and spend time with the family and that's my ultimate things so everything else sort of falls on the back of that hence that's my direction that's the way i want to look at things and the way i want to do it and as you can hear it's quite vague and open-ended but that's because you can't lock it in 100 percent because things change things adapt but i know where i want to be i know what i want to do i want to head back to the philippines as well uh probably in the next 18 months um so you know april and the kids can go back out there but you know um while the kids can still remember and got an interest of where they came from and where they spent years, you know, with their, their, their young childhood, because a lot of the memories start to fade as they you start hitting the teen years. So it'd be nice to give them some fresh memories. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. It's the importance of not just the goals, but the direction you're heading in and where you actually want to end up. But 
never get disheartened we're going well I'm, I'm not happy here or whatever because the point is that is called experience you've now learned something that wasn't the job you wanted or it was a, you know it's the same as your last job well there you go you, you applied for the wrong job um, but all that comes with experience and you start going well I'm not getting roped into the same stuff and I, I know this is where some people may be thinking they can use people the way they did um, to the last batch of staff but the problem is the last batch of staff had been there a long time the new batch are coming from other places and they may have already experienced it hence they are not going to be such an easy walkover because they're just going to go job's not worth it and leave um, because that's knowledge again knowledge and experience it's about getting where you want to be I hope Sainsbury's is still open I know it's only closed but just got here so I might have to rush in anyway guys but yeah just want to do a quick video update um, thanks for watching and uh, take care guys